What's going on people? Welcome to the road trip for Man United's trip to Nottingham Forest to the city ground. Manchester United's first leg of the semi-final of the Carabao Cup, man. Big game. Forget what happened at Arsenal. Like Eric Ten Hag said in the press conference, we have to move on and move on quickly. This is the beginning of a 10-game of a period, I think, in 32 days for Manchester United. So that's what's ahead. That's the challenge that lies ahead. And tonight, listen, I know I do the, the nervous flex thing and all that, whatever. I'm just being honest. I think tonight's going to be a really difficult game. They have not lost um, at home for a little while now. And their home form is very, very good, Nottingham Forest. Obviously, they started off really badly in the league. They've stabilised since then. And, you know, they've beat Liverpool there. I think they drew to Chelsea there. Um, I watched the game against Spurs that they had there. They, sh they sh didn't deserve to lose that, but they did. Um, and it's and it's going to be a tough, tough game. Marcel, obviously, we're on our way up. This is like a proper British cup tie, under the lights, prestigious ground. Atmosphere is going to be absolutely electric, man. They are crazy at the city ground. I'm actually looking forward to going there. It's one of them grounds that... You know, they, they deserve to be at the top level football. Um, but what, what are you saying, Max? I know you're obviously always optimistic, but bro, I'm, I'm not going to lie. It's a tough game. I'm feeling a bit funny with this. Um, well, you know, our waveform's not been brilliant. I mean, Crystal Palace, Arsenal, exactly. Chelsea, we've kind of, you know, just about scra scraped that one. Fulham, just about scraped the win. Wolves. So, you know, our waveform's where we've been struggling. You know, it's been around the 75,000 at home where we've been brilliant. Let's just see how, how the team plays and how Ten Hag obviously sets us up. Um, you know, similar to Crystal Palace, like you were saying before, rich in history kind of ground, old-fashioned ground. So I'm excited as a fan, obviously, and a supporter to go and watch them play. But it's all about that rotation of the squad. Yeah, um, but I don't know how much you can rotate, bro. Because like, oh. th think about it like this, yeah? This is obviously for a cup. This yeah. is knockout football. Not Obviously, it's not over tonight because it's the second leg. But... We have to be getting a positive result. We know how serious Eric Ten Hag is about winning a trophy. And I just think that he's not going to make too many changes. Ooh. But at the same time, obviously, with the amount of games we've been having, yeah. we need to make changes. But we saw, we see what happens when we make too many changes. We can't risk this. Uh, we can't well, risk it. Well, to your point, though, bro, I mean, it's 10, get what you said, 10 yeah. games in 32 days. Crazy. Wow, that's crazy. Again, on, on top of that January, you know, schedule that we've already just gone through, I think it's about most probably just, you know, making sure that you get the balance right. And, and I don't know, I've, we saw Scott, you know, Casemiro hopefully playing. It's He's got Casemiro's coming back in. Yeah, he has to be. He has to be. Um, Elanga hopefully features and, and nah, I'm, I'm, you don't think so? Nah, 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 nah. Marcel, we have to be on point for this game, bro. What? It's a semi-final, bro. First leg. Yeah, but the second we got Redding, we got Redding at home in the FA Cup next game. Yeah, but then rest the man them then. Nah, but you know easier game this fixture or you know the, rotate the squad this fixture Ooh. at home. You can be more confident that you get a better result. You wait there. You're saying rotate the man in the in the more difficult game, yeah. which is which is Forest away, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. when you're saying rotate, what what are you saying then? What, what three, four? Give three. me your give me your team. Give me your team. Elanga on 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 the right. Um, they've, they've called the fun for you, fam. Called the Manchester Terms is after you, fam. Um, Van Corst up front, right, and then Ganacho on the left. Right, so you're going Ganacho, Van Corst, Alanga. Yeah, right. In the midfield, I'm gonna most probably do McFred and Casemiro. So quite a very weak midfield. Oh yeah, just put out a very weak midfield on purpose. Yeah, but what, you just just maybe focus on your counter attacks. I'm thinking it has to be rotated fully on this on this game in front of Old Trafford. I think we're more likely to win it, and it'll be easier for us to play. We played them. We played them. What was it only a few days? A few only a few weeks ago. Yeah, and Old was, Trafford. Yeah, yeah Old nil. Trafford three 0 You know, it's easier for us to perform against these. But if we're two 0 down, <laughs> hey, <laughs> we don't want to be losing the game before we get to Old Trafford next week. By what, by, by what margin though? By what margin? Oh, any. One, two, nil, whatever. Mm -hmm. I think if we weaken it, bro, I'm telling you now, Forrest are good at home, you know. Yeah, Forrest are no mugs at home, bro. The atmosphere. We can't afford to roll out McTominay, Fred, Ericsson. Oh, Ericsson. Yeah, I don't want to pick Ericsson. Or, or McTominay, Fred, what did you say? McTominay, Fred. McTominay, Fred, Casemiro. Yeah. Uh, 
Um, no Bruno. Yeah, no Bruno. A Langer in there. Yeah. No Rashford. No Rashi. Nah, mate. And what are you doing at the back then? Well, at the back, I would most probably put the as best as possible at the back. Um, okay. That's that. Yeah, that's you where we. Yeah, that's where we could. We don't we concede much, or we're, we're very strong defensively. I'd say that's our strong point within our team, building up from the back. You know, getting the ball through the thirds. So I'd maybe go as strong as possible in the, in the defensive line, I'm but surprised. I'm rotate. Surprised you said that. I, to be honest with you, actually, now you know, deep in what you're saying, some might not be beyond the. You know, we have to see. It all depends how fit players are, because that's the thing. I want. I want us to go as strong. I want us to go the first as strong team. I want us to play this game like it's Man City way. Yeah. I'm being deadly serious. Yeah. Like the same back four that just played against Arsenal. Then in midfield I would go Casemiro, I'll just go back to normal. Casemiro, Ericsson Bruno. and Bruno. Maybe take Ericsson out because he's been a bit leggy yeah. and go Casemiro, Fred, yeah, uh, Bruno. Good. Good Don't mind that. Yeah. Um and I think he goes I would like to see Ganacho in this game actually. I would actually go Ganacho, Rashford, Anthony. Mm -hmm. But I think he would I think he'll keep that front three the same. I don't, I don't know if he would, but I'd like to see Ganacho. But I don't, I don't, I definitely don't see Elanga starting. But um, I, I just, it depends how fit the players are. You know, after the back of City, Palace, Arsenal, they were all three day, three day slash four day turnovers. Yeah. You know, now it's another three days after the Arsenal game, and and we're here again. So, what's your thoughts on Verkost? What's your thoughts on Verkost? You didn't put Verkost in your side. Yeah, I mean, I don't mind if he starts. I mean, he, to be fair, he actually needs rhythm. Needs to keep getting used to us. And we can't rely on Martial. Mm. So we need Veghorst to actually start clicking in this team and getting shots and getting goals yeah, and, and yeah. getting opportunities. So actually, yeah, I, I, yeah, I'd keep it the same. I'd keep it the same. As the Arsenal? As the Arsenal front three, yeah. But I don't, I don't mind. But, you know, I do, it's because of my selfish I do want to see Ganacho come in. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, Carabao Carp, I think it's a chance for him. Um, but for me, I ain't resting Rashford. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I'm not. But sometimes we say all these things and we've seen it before. Eric Ten Hag does make quite a few changes. You know, he might have Rashford on the bench and just have, he might have Ganacho, Veghorst, Anthony. Yeah. Bring Rashi on in the 60th minute or something just to, because so, if he pops down injured, obviously we're in trouble. But we can only play the game that's in front of us. And I think this is a proper tough game, bro. I'm not going to lie. So you're not even, you're not even expected to see any youth players? No. Be no, new. no. No. No way. No. No. Fair not a, a way at Forest. No. Fair no. Right. Even if this game was home first, I don't think you'd risk that. Um, I just, I just think this is too. I think this is too critical now. We might see um, what's his name in goal. Maybe Tom Heaton. We might, we might get Tom Heaton in goal. Yeah. Um, but I don't think Ten Hag goes mad. I don't think he goes mad with the changes, bro. It's, you you got to remember it. We think of it like this: we just lost against Arsenal. Mm. We slipped up in the last minute against Palace. Yeah. That's two back-to-back, -back, you know, not great results. Yeah, sure. I know, like, we played well against Arsenal, but the overall thing is we lost. Yeah. And we conceded in the last minute, yeah. you know? Um, but maybe Varane, the Rolls-Royce, the ghost of Rafe the Phantom, um, he may need a bit, like, do you know what I mean? Because there's so many games. Yeah. Maybe he might go Maguire and Martinez. I don't know. But I want to see him go or Lindelof Martinez. But I, but Lindelof even seems to be behind Maguire these days. Yeah. So I, I want to I wanna see the full strength back four and then... You play, you play that, and then at home to Reading, you know, you go Malassia, Maguire, Lindelof. wan will probably have to play again because Dada's not ready. Yeah. Then you bring in, you know, McTominay, uh, Fred. Some people got to play again because we don't have that much depth. But you know what I mean? So I, we can make more changes. Kobe Mainu, whatever you want to do. Ganacho, whoever. Alanga, if you want to start him against Reading, fine. Something's got to give at some point. But yeah. semi-final? Nah, mate. we got to get a good result. Nah, this, is a, this is a hard game today, bro. Not this like... is a normal Premier League game for me. Hard. <laughs> Hard, bro. <laughs> Semi-final. <laughs> Forest, bro. You know how, how historic Forest are, bro, as a of club? Course, of course. Big, big club, bro. Clough era. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, they live for nights like this. Under the, under the lights at the city ground. Place packed out, rocking. At, you'll see when we get there. Yeah. You'll see when we get there. The atmosphere. I think we'll draw today. I don't, I'm not even 100% on the win. I think this is a really tough game. I do. I'm, I'm or tight. I'm feeling, I'm feeling, I'm feeling positive. Obviously, like you said, and I'm maybe a bit naive, too positive, optimistic. <laughs> but I think it's, it's an opportunity for us to rotate. I think it's an opportunity for us to, you know, there's so many games coming up where, again, never big historic games with leads back to back. Yeah. Red, Reddings come in. Reddings oh, the easy one. Yeah, That's it is. Man. It is. Yeah. No, I hear that. But you know, I, I just felt like this away fixture, maybe you rotate it, and then in the home game you can see what it is and and put the on the stronger side up. I agree with you with the back four. I think that I think David De Gea should play. Yeah. I think I think you know and have the, the strongest possible back four mm. or back five unit defensive unit, but 
in, in the forward line and the midfield line rotated. Mm, okay. All right. Well, let us know what you think. Me and Marcel are kind of different in opinions here, actually. Let us know if you think we should go as strong as possible, given any injuries or fatigue that might be, but should we be going as strong as possible? Would you agree with Marcel? Should this be a chance to rotate, freshen up the team a little bit because there's so many games? And this is the start of, like I said, a 10 day, a 10 game in, in 32 day uh, stretch for us, which is going to be a really, really tough ask, man. Um, let us know. Let us know in the comments behind. Remember to keep um, KG, Mina, uh, I think Hayley, um, and DJ, keep them company on the match view later on tonight. That's going to be there. And obviously, we'll have that reaction straight from the ground for you guys as well. So, yes, roll on 8 p.m. for kickoff. Come on, Man United. Let's do it.